Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to the class. Nice to have you here on time. Hi good Wendy, evening. good evening, nice to see you. Hi, good evening. Teacher. Hello Zaira, hello Blanca. Hi Carlos and Anna. Hello teacher. Welcome. We have Brian too, hi Brian. And Oscar, Christian and Maria Concepcion. Hello. Hello, teacher. Aún no voy a encender la cámara porque no llego a casa todavía. Ah, okay, okay, Maria Concepcion. That sounds good. How was your day at work, Blanca? Did you work today? Uh, nice. 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 It was easy. Not too many activities. No hubieron muchas actividades. Mm, so so. Ah, ah okay. Well, I have some, some activities prepared for you. I'm just going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance really quick and then we will, we will start. Okay, let me... So we start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Lilian. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Brian Carmona. Present teacher, present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Janina. Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Luis Alfonso. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Elena. Maria Ivania. Nelson Gabarrete, Omar Francisco, eh, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Zuleima. Cristian Ernesto. Present miss. Thank you, Christian. Jose Arnoldo. Present, Miss. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. And Mayra Moreno. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to share with you riddles. Do you know what a riddle is? Están, ¿Saben qué es esa palabra? Riddles. Ya la han oído antes. Like this. Riddles. No, adivinanzas. I'm going to share with you riddles, but in English. Okay. And we will. Hi, Galileo. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. We will start with Brian. Okay, Brian. Aquí va una adivinanza in English. A riddle. So let's see if you can figure it out. What has to be broken before you can use it. What has to be broken, this is the word broken, before you can use it. Do you know the word broken? It's, it's like break, it's like break but in the past participle form, break, Broke, broken. I'm going to put it in the chat if you want to, so you can also read it. This is the riddle, Brian. What has to be broken before you can use it? Ideas. Me teacher. Me uh -huh. teacher. Okay, Wendy. You 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 hurt. <laughs> no, that's not the answer. But thank you, Wendy. Age teacher. Again, Anna. Age. Age. Like age. this. Egg. 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 Like this. 
Yes. Aha, uh -huh, yes. that's the answer. That is the answer. You have to break yes. it and then you use it. Okay, well, next one. Let's try with Saira. Okay, Saira, a riddle for you. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I'm going to repeat. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Yes, what am I? And I, I'm sending it in the chat too, so you can see what I said. I'm tall when I'm young and short when I'm old. What could it be? No, no, Galileo. Okay, tall, verdad? De alto. Young, no idea. Joven, right? That is young, joven. In short, is the opposite of tall, lo opuesto de ser alto. In old, ya es viejito, viejo. What is it? I'm tall when I'm young, and short when I'm old. And it's not the sun. Yes, yes, that's the one, Anna. Aha, uh -huh, it's a candle. This is the answer. <laughs> candle, una vela. That's the one. Thank you. Number three. Let's try with the next one. Sorry. Okay, it says. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's try with you, Anna. Okay, Anna, what goes up but never comes down? What goes up, sube, but never goes down? Never goes down, Anna. Um. What? No sé, será como la sombra, tiche, por no como Shadow. No, but it's not that, Anna. Thank you. Lily, ideas? What is it? ¿Qué será? What is it? What goes up, sube, but never goes down, no baja. Never. Um, tree? An árbol? No. <laughs> Is that the tree? Thank you. Jenny, I guess. Ah, it's una adivinanza. It's a riddle. Oh. Ajá. Yo creí que estaba como la vez pasada relacionando una cosa con la no. otra. <laughs> ok. No. And Elena, no. That is not the answer either. If you have other possibilities, you can tell me. Yes, Jenny? What do you think it is? I don't know, teacher. No idea. Okay. Me no idea. Diabetes? Me no, Oscar. Yes, Ivania? No, no. No, or, me confirmo. Uh, maybe the rain, pero no. The rain, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you give up? ¿Se rinde? Do you give up? Yeah. Uh -huh. I give up. You give up. Okay, I will, I will tell you. It is your age. It always goes up, but never goes down. Okay, and the last one. Okay, this is the last one, and then we continue. Teacher, okay. don't, uh -huh. don't write. No, you don't write. 
the question. The three, the three riddles. Ah, uh, no, only listening. But this is the one. That's the one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Number three. Number three. Okay. I have branches. Branches. These branches. But no fruit. No fruit. I have branches, but no fruit. Trunk or leaves. What is it? I will, I will tell you, branches, branches son como las ramas, son las ramas de un árbol. Eh, fruit, you know what it is that, right? Leaves, son las hojas, leaves. And trunk, trunk like this will be el tronco. Listen again, I have branches, but no fruit, no trunk, no leaves. What am I? No fruit, no trunk, no leaves. But it has the signs. No. The signs? No. no. The flower. No, Ivania, but thank you. <laughs> Other possibilities. I have branches, but no fruit. No trunk, no leaves. Do you have ideas? Teacher. Uh -huh. Sucursales, teacher. Yes, that's the one, Laura. Branches. Well, a, a, a bank. It's a bank. Why? Porque branches, no sé si se recuerdan que también branches es como sucursales, ¿verdad? Así que es un bank. Tiene branches, but no fruit, no trunk, no leaves. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. So let's continue. Let's continue. Did you have a comment, Arnoldo? I don't understand. Uh, which part? A bank. Aha, uh -huh. a bank. Okay. You, you don't understand why. Why it's a bank? Or what don't you understand? Any bank. Any banks. Because they have branches. Okay. Branches can be little offices. Little offices. Rama. Rama uh, sucursales. Aha. Uh -huh. So a bank okay. has branches. But it's not a tree. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So we continue in, in lesson number two. We will talk a little bit more about schedules, but it's going to be a little bit different today. Okay, so question for Elena. Elena, the question that we have in the, in the book, who interviews future employees in your company? Who? Do you understand the question, Elena? Uh, this question is uh, listening. Number two, no. No, number one. Only number one. Who? The person. Who? Interviews. Do you know what that is? Interview? You, no, I don't know. No. Interview is when you ask a lot of questions to a person to get a job. The person inside the company asks questions to a new person. Is GTH. GTS. No. Entrevista. Entrevistar. Who interviews future employees in your company? Uh, in my company um, is GTS. Ah, okay. Uh, in Spanish, gestión de talento humano. In English, ah, okay. The talent. 
the talent department. Talent. Or you talent. can say HR, porque sería como una parte, creo, si no me equivoco, que está dentro de recursos humanos. No, no está dentro. No, no. In, in my company, uh, así es el nombre, gestión de talento humano. Ah, ok. You can say the talents, talents department. Talent. Mm -hmm. Talents department. Ok, thank you, Elena. Carlos, did you have a comment, Carlos? In my case, mm -hmm. the manager of the human records. Human resources, the manager in that human area. Resources. Where do yes. you work, Carlos? Remind me. Uh, I am working in Dicotecna. Dico. Dicotecna. Uh -huh. Only Cotecna. Ah, okay. And only one person does the interviews. Only yes. your manager. Uh, no. Uh, also the manager operation. Mm -hmm. So depend depend the, the area. For, for uh -huh. example, mm -hmm. the maintenance uh, or contable. Oh, ah, finances. Ah, finances. Ah, okay. Finances. There are mean, different options in that case, right? Depending on the area. There are yes, different people. Depending on the areas. Okay, Carlos, thank you very much. Let's continue with Mayra. Hello, Mayra. How Hello, are teacher. you? We miss Aparece. you. Ya la extrañábamos aquí en la clase. Okay, sí. Mayra. So, in your case, who interviews future employees? Um, in my word is um, the boss. The boss. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And what and is the... Assessor financial, no sé, assessor financiero, no sé cómo se dice. You can say a financial agent. Uh -huh. Financial agent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two people. In your case, yes. two. Okay, two. Mayra. Thank you for your comment. Welcome back. Welcome back to the class. Okay, let's continue with Nelson. Okay, question number two. You can think about it. You can also send it by chat. Okay, Nelson, let's begin with you. Five activities, Nelson, you do in a regular day. And guys, if you want to, you can also send me your answer in the chat and I will I will read it. So Nelson, what about you? Okay. Hello. Can you tell me five activities you do in your company in a normal day uh, or a regular day? It's a, a busy climb. Uh -huh. uh, it's one. Uh, deliver, o sea, entrega, no sé cómo se dice. Deliver. En Nelson, deliver. recuerde que siempre vamos a poner el subject in English. I deliver. I, I deliver. Busy claim, uh -huh. busy bank. I visit banks. Uh -huh. Number three. Busy bank. Number four. Three. Okay. Uh, in the morning, open door. I open the door in the morning. Uh -huh. And number five. Uh, number five is a uh, report. I make report. A report. I'm a report. Mm -hmm. I make reports. Thank you, Nelson. Now Hello. let's listen to Christian. Hello. Christian, five activities. And remember the structure, Christian. I, the verb, and the complement. Okay. Um, I, uh, merchandise reception. You receive merchandise, or what do you mean? You receive or check. Products, um, merchandise. Uh -huh, um, mm -hmm. 
eh, me está diciendo qué producto recibo. No, si a eso se refiere usted, Cristian. Correcto, Con la... a eso me refiero. Ah, ok. Sí, puede decir, I check merchandise or I receive merchandise. Depende de qué sea la actividad. Ok, that is number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. Number two, I deliver merchandise. Mm -hmm. Number three. Uh, I customer support. Uh, say I give. Just the verb. I give customer okay. service support. or support. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four. Um, let me see. Normal activities in a regular day. Number four. Um, I check report. Mm -hmm. And number um, five. Number five. Um, ¿Cómo puedo decir tomo inventario? I make. I make inventories. Okay. I make inventories. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, remember when you talk about regular activities, we use simple present. ¿Verdad? Cuando estamos hablando de actividades rutinarias, utilicemos siempre simple present. Recuerden la structure que vimos on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, or Friday. Esa es la que vamos a usar. And you can send your comments by chat. Ustedes también, si no les pregunto, pueden enviarlo en el chat. And I can check it, okay? So we can practice a little bit more. Alfonso, five activities that you do in a regular day at work? Yeah, I, I write early uh, on my company, uh, or my company because I am uh, open the office, okay? Number mm -hmm. one. Number two, teacher, is uh, take my my dinner, my breakfast, okay? Your breakfast, uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. Number uh -huh. number three, uh, I check my my emails. Your emails, uh huh. My my emails. Uh, number four, I call I call a customer to call it. Uh -huh. You call customers. Number, yes, yes, I call uh, our customer uh, for calling it uh, the, the sales, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, number number five, uh, number five, uh, supervising staff. Oh, are you a supervisor, a manager? Uh, for Something my like that. For, for, yes, 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 for uh -huh. my for my uh, obligation mm -hmm. uh, is uh, supervise staff. Okay. Uh huh. To supervise staff or personnel. Okay, Alfonso. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. We will continue. We will practice pronunciation in this moment. Here we have a conversation between Celia and Marcos. It says, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk the, to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them. Tomorrow, sorry, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering inventory. I thought, ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, so just to remind you, remember this word is employees, right? This one is finished, finished. 
the one you see here, reschedule, reschedule. And this one here, changes, changes. That's the, the pronunciation. Now it's your turn. And thank you, Galileo and, and Omar. I, I can see the sentences here. Maybe just one comment. Don't forget the subject. Aha, uh -huh. yes, Lily. Eh, podría repetir donde, donde comienza lo de Marcos, que no lo escuché bien. Ah, ah, ok. Marcos, pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Do you want me to continue? Quisiera que lo lea todo o solo era esa parte, Lili? Esa parte, que la primera parte no escuchaba si era very o pretty. Pretty. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> oh, pretty. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, María Concepción. How do you say interviewing? Interviewing. There are two possibilities. Um, interviewing, interviewing, interviewing. Uh -huh. I'm going to teach, well, I'm going to tell you one, one kind of rule we have here. Okay, so we have this. And okay, so we have sometimes this. We, I'm um, sorry, let's put it here. When you have an R before the N, we usually make this. Cuando tenemos esto, que tenemos una, una N, perdón, una N antes de la T, cuando ven esto, usualmente se puede sonar como R. Eso, en vez de T, suena como R, como Internet. No sé si alguna vez o lo, lo escuchan que más que todo lo dicen así, Internet. Internet. Or you can say internet. That's okay. There are two possibilities. Y tenemos acá interview. That's okay. Or interview. Inner. No, suena como N. Sorry. Inner. Interview. And the one that you see here, intersection or inner. Intersection. Es como que silencio la T. Y seguimos, ¿verdad? Hay dos posibilidades. Cualquiera está bien. Cuando tenemos esto, una N y está la T seguida. It will work like that. Okay. So, now is your turn. I'm going to listen to your pronunciation, to some of you. Let's, let's start. Let's begin with Omar. Omar and Oscar. Omar, you are Celia. And Oscar, you are Marcos. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished this interview. Some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception we I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some units. Anyways, how about you? Use the usual. Checking that the person is reading and ordering the inventory. I told ordering the inventory was Janis Joe. Thank you very much, guys, for reading it. Very good pronunciation. I'm going to help you with two words. Number one here, just. That is the way it sounds, Omar. Just. Just. Yes. Uh-huh. And second, personnel. The way you Person. see it there. Personnel. Person. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Wendy and Laura. Wendy, you are Celia. Laura, 
Marcos. Okay. okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished inter interview in the interview in the interview interviewing in the viewing some potential employees. Then I have to tell to talk to the staff about some change in the chat schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, reschedule res some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls, some call in some minutes. I am, anyways, how, how about you? Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I mm -hmm. threw the ordering. The inventory was Janet Joe. Uh -huh. okay, thank you, Wendy and Laura. Maybe just this one, the one you see here, is Kane. Kane, that is the pronunciation of this Kane. word. Kane. Uh-huh. Yes, and I heard you Kane. said just Wendy, so it was correct. Okay, let's continue. Blanca. Blanca and Maria Concepcion. Blanca, you are Celia. And Maria Concepcion, you are Marcos. Good morning, Marcos. How, how is your day going? The good news is in some pens employees, then I have to talk to the staff at some change in the schedule. I see. I see. What is the pronunciation? Sir? Teacher? Sorry, I, I. Which one? I see. I see. I see. Ah, here. I see, no, no, I saw. Not. Ah, I saw. See, so. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, recapture some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about how about you? It was the usual checking that the person is ready in order the inventory. Mm -hmm. I found ordering the inventory was Janet. Yes, thank you. Good pronunciation. I appreciate it. So let's continue with Ivania. Ivania and Carlos. Ivania, you are Celia and Carlos Marcos. Good morning, Marcos. Who is your day going? Very good. I just finished inter, inter, interviewed some potential employees. Then I have to tell to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I come. Yes, I rest, rescued some of them tomorrow. I need to make some call in the some minutes. Anyway, how uh, uh, about you? Just the usual, checking that the person in reading and order the inventory. I, I stopped ordering the inventory was Yanep's job. Thank you, Carlos and Ivani. I appreciate it. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you a little bit. I, if you can see there are some words in red, we will check the pronunciation of them. Number one is talk. Talk. Uh -huh. talk. When you say it, the L is silent. It sounds like this when you say it, talk. That is the pronunciation. Changes. 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 Uh -huh. Changes. That is the pronunciation. And the next one is Came. Came. Uh-huh. Reschedule. 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 Let's see, Carlos, please repeat, and then Ivani. 
Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. One last time. Reschedule. Reschedule. And Ivania? Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. Okay. And the next one is how. Okay. Remember how. How. Personal. How. Personal. Personal. Yes. Thank you. We will listen in this moment, uh, lastly, to Arnoldo and Galileo. Arnoldo, you are Celia, and Galileo, you are Marcos. Okay, teacher. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day? How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Mm -hmm. Okay, very, very fluent. Good pronunciation. Okay, thank you thank for you. your comments. Now we have some questions about the conversation to practice comprehension. Question number one. Let's listen to Christian. Okay, Christian. Question number one. What kind of job does Marcos have? What kind of job, Christian, does Marcos have? Based on this conversation, what do you think he does, Christian? He interviews some potential employees. So what kind of job do you think he has? Uh -huh. uh, is, what do you um, imagine? Is a manager um como se podría decir de recursos humanos? A manager from uh, human resources or HR. Usually we call it HR. A manager from HR. Just a HR. Mm -hmm. It's the okay. short way, human resources. Pero casi todos le llaman HR. Como aire acondicionado. Es air conditioning. Pero más que todo se le dice AC. Más fácil okay. para uno. Und I understand. Okay. 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 Thank you, Christian. And you, Elena, what do you think? What kind of job does Marcos have? Do you agree with Christian or do you have a different uh, opinion, Elena? Question number one. I am the same opinion. Uh, manager, HR. A manager from HR, the same. I agree with the you. Same. I think the same. I think he is from HR too. Okay, thank you, Elena and Christian. Now, question number two. Mayra, what are some of his responsibilities? What are some of Marcos' responsibilities? He has uh, talk the, the staff about the changes in the schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Okay. Sería eso todo? Is that it, Mayra? Mm -hmm. And ordering the inventory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mayra. Thank you. We will check. Ya vamos a ver ahorita si estamos así en lo correcto. Thank you, Mayra. Wendy, what do you think? Question number two, Wendy. 
Two, what are some of his responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Marcos. Mm -hmm. Interview, interview uh, new employees. He interviews new employees. Mm -hmm. Interviews a new employees. Is that it? Um, no. More uh, activities or responsibilities? Calls. Uh, he makes some calls. He makes calls. Okay. His calls. Uh, orders. Ordering. Orders Order. the inventory. Uh, Ordering okay. the inventory. Okay. All right. Thank you. Number one and two are correct. He. We can say that he interviews. Interviews and calls. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he makes phone calls. But there is one, one more activity, but not the inventory no, one. The, the three is Janet's job. Uh -huh. It's not Marco's ah, job. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, but thank you. Let's ask Ellie. Ellie, do you know question number two? Or Anna? We need one more responsibility. Responsibility de Marco. Mm -hmm. We have two. Interviewing people and making calls, phone calls. What is the other responsibility? So to stop about changes uh-huh correct he talks to the staff too thank you thank you ellie so anna yes sir mr i have a problem with, with my internet and with my camera near me, ah, my okay. camera i don't okay. okay ellie thank you for letting me know anna question number three how similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Are they similar, Anna, to your activities or responsibilities? Um, a check in the... Uh, a check in the person is... It's similar. It's similar. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Thank you, Anna. And to you, Rodrigo, how similar are the activities they do, Celia and Marcos, to your activities? Mm, ordering the inventory. Only one. One yeah. similar activity. Yes. And the other ones? No. 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 Okay. Only. Okay. Okay, Rodrigo. Thank you. And you, Jenny? Are the activities they do similar to your activities? Uh, my responsibilities are mm -hmm. uh, similar, are different. Ah, okay. So they are not similar at all. Not similar. I'm working sales department. Mm, okay, okay. So no, they have nothing to do with you. Arnoldo? In my case, I made some calls mm -hmm. with the provider. Uh -huh. And talk to the staff uh, about some changes in your schedule, maybe. And ah, okay. I'm responsible with the inventory of the of the store. You also are responsible of the inventory. Okay, there are different activities uh -huh, that you do in your company. Where do you work, Arnoldo? What? Where do you work? Grupo Calma. Grupo Calma. 
Yeah. What is it about? What do they do? Middle is... code. No, I don't know about that company. Didelco, eh, hierro. Ah, you sell like iron to other yeah. companies. Mm, okay, now I understand a little bit more. Okay, Arnoldo, thank you for your comment. I'm going to give you in this moment some vocabulary. Okay, this, this is about activities. Okay, let's do it like this. Before, antes, before I give you this vocabulary, think about activities um, people who work in restaurants do. The ones you know in English. Quiero que piensen qué actividades hacen los que trabajan en restaurantes. Los que ustedes se puedan. In English. Let's begin with Brian. Activities, employees in restaurants do. Que usted me puede decir a mí in English. And then I will give you others. You can send them by chat, guys. So I can see your answers too. Brian? Uh-huh. Aha, uh -huh, activities. Aha. Uh -huh. ¿Qué empleados harían en un restaurante? What do they do? Pero que usted sepa, that you know in English. Lo, lo, que, ellos, lo que ellos hacen en un restaurante. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, como que yo diga, they take orders. Toman órdenes, they take orders. ¿Cuáles me podría decir usted a mí? In English. Dinner, chicken. Pero activities. Mm. If it is day two. Or think about it, piénselo. Y si se le vienen algunos, me avisa. Ok, como general feedback, when you use simple present, please remember to use the subject. Okay? Recuerden de utilizar siempre el subject, porque en inglés se repite. In Spanish, we don't do it. No lo decimos a cada rato, pero in English, yes, you have to mention the subject. Ok, let's listen to Elena. Elena, do you know some activities people do in restaurants? I um, think they attend logistics with suppliers. Attend logistics. What do you mean, attender? Ah, atender la logística de los proveedores o con proveedores. Ah, okay. Okay. Attend in English, Elena, it means to be present in a place. Es como estar presente en un lugar. Attend. So maybe you can say check or help, serve. In your context, you can say check. Check will be the best, the best option. Other activities, Elena? Um, the purchase, um, food, purchase food. They, they buy food or purchase food uh -huh, for the restaurant. Okay, Elena, thank you. If you have more ideas, do you have more ideas before I continue? No sé si va a agregar algo más, Elena. Yeah. Or is that it? It can... Como cocinar, no sé cómo, cómo cook. se cómo, cómo, cook, cook. They cook food. They cook food. Ok, Elena, thank you. Galileo, do you have other ideas? Yes, ma'am. Or activities? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, they attend to the customer service department. Uh, I mean, they uh, attend the clients. 
They put the pizza on the client's tables. They receive the payment from the client. They offer the current promotions. They make pizza in the production line and they uh, put the, the dough pizza in the own and, and then they put the pizza on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Galileo. And Jenny, uh -huh, the ones you sent, they are also correct. Thank you, Ar Arnoldo and Oscar, for the ones you sent. Here I have other, okay? It says re restaurant, server, duties, and responsibilities. Let's, let's read them, and then we talk about them. Blanca, number one. Can you read? Number one, please. Okay. Restaurant, service, duties, and responsibility. Welcome in city. That's a pronunciation the is a city or sitting. Sitting. Being comfortable, comfortable in the dining section. Dining section. Dining uh -huh. section. Okay, here you have the action. Aquí tienen the action. In other words, how can you can you say it, Maria Concepcion? ¿Qué es lo que hacen basado en eso? What would be the sentence? Según lo que acaba de leer la compañera. Uh -huh. Number one. At dinners. Dinners. Uh -huh. Like in simple words, how would you say it? Or what do you understand? Uh, prepare, prepare the dinners. Uh -huh. Yes. So maybe we can say this. They welcome and, and see customers, right? This is one one activity they do. Number one, they welcome and sit customers. Thank you, Maria Concepcion. Number two, Zaira, can you read number two, please? Taking customer food and drink, and drink order, collaborating mm -hmm. with the kitchen and bar staff. Ah, sorry, that was number three. <laughs> Oops, I, I color more. But yes, they, in that case, take customers, sorry. Oops, customers orders, right? The food and the drinks. Do you understand? Do you understand activity one and activity two? Activity one, activity two. Si me, me entienden las dos actividades que hacen? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. If you have questions, stop me. Okay, number three. Es era number three. Okay. Zaira, can you read number three, please? Hoy sí, todo. Zaira, do you hear me? Okay, yes. Collaborating with the kitchen and bar staff for prompt, prompt. and correct and correct delivery of order. Thank you. Prompt is fast. It's a synonym. In case you didn't know, prompt it means fast okay that is the meaning of prompt okay so they collaborate with the kitchen staff this is another activity they collaborate with the kitchen and bar staff kitchen and bar staff or personnel 
to give the orders fast. To give the orders fast. This is activity number three. Thank you, Saira. Lily, can you read the next one? Okay. Memorizing. Memorizing the menu, the menu and recommend. Recommend? A, recommend I, I pay to see. Appetizers. Appetizer. Meals. Meals and take from restaurant. Wine. Wine stock. Wine stock. Uh -huh. Wine so stock. in simple words, they memorize the menu. Okay. Appetizers, meals, drinks, and wine. Okay. That is what they do. They memorize the menu. Questions in this moment? Do you have questions for me in this moment? No, no questions. Okay, activity. Yes. yes. Tell me. Sorry, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? The meals. 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 Uh -huh. Meals. It's like breakfast, or for yeah. example, we eat three times, right, in the day or more. So we have yeah. three meals. Breakfast is one meal. Uh -huh. Lunch is a meal. Dinner meal. Three meals in the mm. day. Do you understand? Thank you. Meals? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Any other question? I have a question. Elena? Hmm? Why do you um, say appetizers? The pronunciation. Appetizers. Appetizers. It, it is the first plot. Pears in the menu. Mm -hmm. Como Correct. That's appetizers. Correct, Elena. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, activity number four. Can you help us, Nelson? Can you read activity number four? I don't oh. hear you, Nelson. Okay. Now I hear you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hola, hola. Hello. I hear you. Eh, mm -hmm. I do the really system to the planet. Can you read it? Puede leer lo que está ahí en, en eh, red? They, see, they live in a, a memorial Gaining experiences by resolving a high customer issues problem. Issues. Uh -huh. Promptly. Issues. Promptly. Ah, promptly. Promptly. Okay. Yes. Uh, issues. Uh -huh. Only, only that part. Uh, only that part here. Uh, the experience, this experience. Do you have a question, Nelson? Tiene una pregunta, Nelson. No, no entiendo. Ah, ok. No, no lo puse acá lo de, de manera simple, no sé si me lo comprende. They deliver an excellent customer service. Dining ah, service es como ah, ah, experiencia de, de con la comida. An excellent dining service. Ah, como, uh -huh. And ah, they sold, second, it says that they sold yes. or fix uh -huh. problems. Pass. When the customer uh, has a problem, they solve the problems fast, promptly. Prontamente, fast, okay. promptly. That is what it means, Nelson. Okay, number okay. five. Um, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and 
and then we continue uh, with the next one. Okay, so we will start with Anna. Present Anna, thank you, sorry. Uh, Anna Beatriz. Anna Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian Carmona. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Frida Yanine. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you. Present teacher. María Elena. Okay. I'm here, teacher. María Ivania. Thank you. Present teacher. Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny. Jenny Santos. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Christian Ernesto. Present, Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. So let's so. continue. I'm going to continue here really fast. Okay, next one. Omar, can you read it, please? Activity number six. Assisting with the tying of table, clearing let over. Uh, leftovers. Let's over by keeping. The dining are keeping the uh -huh. dining are neat um, place. Please, and this one is dining. Uh -huh. I dining. will say it and then I will tell you. It says are assisting keeping the dining area with neat. the tidying of tables, clearing leftovers, and keeping the dining area neat and pleasant. Can you try again, um, Omar? Is um I clean the the order and clean the, uh, the uh -huh. stumbles stumbles when empieza el establecimiento. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. In simple words, they order and clean, and clean. the tables. Leftovers, la palabra leftovers son como las migajas o lo que queda de comida, ¿verdad? Lo, lo que sobra. Tidying es una manera de decir ordenar. Tidying. Tidying tables se ordenan. They tie, they tie tables. And neat también es una palabra que es como para mantener limpio y ordenado. Okay? And pleasant, agradable. In simple words, they clean, they clean and order the tables and the area where people eat. That is what it says. We're almost done. We have the next one here. Let's continue. Anna, can you read it, please? Setting tables. Okay. Setting table and um, rearranging. Rearranging. The dinner are the accommodates less groups in the preparing the restaurant for special events. Okay, thank, thank you. Setting tables is when you put everything in order, the tables. Rearrange, rearrange, como reacomodar, re uh -huh. como reacomodar the area. When you have a big group of people, so we can say they set tables and rearrange 
the dining area. Okay, when you have a big group of people for events, special events, they have to do that. They have to prepare the area for a big group of people. And then we go with the last one, the last activity. Laura, can you help us with the next one? Ensuring, okay. ensuring cooking. Ensuring cooking, utensil, and kitchen area, area clean, after closing, to comply, comply. Mm -hmm. comply with the state regulation. Uh -huh. Ensuring, so we can say, they make sure, they make sure that the food utensils and the kitchen are clean. Okay, that is another activity. They have to make sure or confirm that the area is clean. Food utensils, estamos hablando ahí del fork, the spoon, los utensilios, que tenedor, cuchillo, eh, cuchara, esos serían los cooking utensils. Comply, comply with the state regulations, eso para cumplir, chill. ¿verdad? Ajá, Wendy. Eh, no escuché, Re, rearrange, what, what's the meaning? Reacomodar. Oh, ok. Ajá. Thank you. Reacomodar. To comply with the state regulations. Remember, they have policies. Ellos tienen sus policies de hygiene, de higiene, que tienen que cumplir, ¿verdad? Así que, that, here you have some activities. Please take notes, because we will use them. Vamos a utilizar estas cosas después. So, take notes. And ask questions. Do you have questions before I remove the information? Doubts, dudas? Would you want to ask? No. Can I delete the information? Puedo quitar la información? No, yes. not yet. Okay. Yes. Wendy, let me know when you finish, Wendy. Me avisa cuando termine, Wendy. Okay, you finish. Okay, now look at this. We're almost done. Okay, I just need to give you some some information. Here you have some vocabulary. Okay, food, food vocabulary. Because of the time, I'm just going to give you some. Si quieren después les mando esto ahí al grupo para que tengan ahí esta picture. Solo les voy a dar como los más comunes por el tiempo que tenemos. Que poner ya en práctica todo. Okay, so I'm going to share with you some of them, only the ones I'm going to mark. Les voy a dar los más popular. Okay, appetizers. We start with appetizers. You have the number, ahí tienen el number para que vayan guiándose. Okay, so we have fruit cup. This is a fruit cup or a fruit cocktail. Number two, Tomato use. Number three, shrimp. Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Number four, chicken wings, like buffalo wings. A chicken. Chicken wings is the normal name. Nachos. That's nachos. Potato skins. Potato skins. Hay un lugar que se me ha olvidado cómo se llama. Pero como que en la cáscara de la papa, ahí van un montón de cosas adentro, like ingredients. Se me ha olvidado el, cómo se llamaba, como casa de la papa, papa. o pap, algo. Ajá, papalandia. Ok, ahí por ahí va. Ok, entonces es algo así, un potato skin. Ok, then you have salads. We have some salads here, the most common ones. Ok. Number eight and number nine, 11. Greek salad. Okay, that's the Greek salad, number eight. And you have Caesar, the same name. Caesar salad, number 11. 
Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go down and we continue with the main course. This is the principal food that you eat. Okay, esto sería su plato principal. Main courses or entries. 13 and the ones you see here. Okay, I'm going to give you the ones you see here. Um, all of them, okay. 13, number 13. This will be meat loss, meat loss. Number 14, that is roast beef or prime rib. 15, veal cutlet, veal cutlet. Es como chuletas de ternera, if you don't get it. Es chuletas o, o carne de ternera, okay? So veal cutlet, baked chicken, broiled fish, broil fish and spaghetti and meatballs. These are the meatballs, what you see on the spaghettis, meatballs. Then, uh -huh. that's correct. Then we continue with side dishes, an extra dish, okay, an extra dish that you ordered. And we have them here. I will give you the most popular ones because of the time. Well, all, all of them are popular. Okay, number 19, a baked, baked potato. 20, number 20, mashed potatoes. French fries, French fries. Then you have rice, noodles. They are similar to spaghettis, noodles, and mixed vegetables. You have a combination of different vegetables. And then finally we have desserts. We have some desserts. 25, that is chocolate cake. Then apple pie. 27, ice cream. 28, yellow. 29, pudding. And 30, ice cream sundae, names of different desserts. Now I'm going to ask some of you to say them, but practical pronunciation, voy a, a decirle a algunos de ustedes que practiquen. Okay, let's start with Ivania. I'm going to mark the ones you have to repeat. Okay, Ivania, go ahead. Uh, number one. From one to uh, six. Um, fruit cook, fruit cocktail, tomato juice, mm -hmm. cream cocktail, um, chicken wing, nachos, nachos, potato skin. Potato skins, yes. Thank you, Ivania. Alfonso, one more time, please. The microphone, Alfonso. Activate them. Uh -huh. Oops, <laughs> again, one more time. Activate the microphone one more time, Alfonso. <laughs> Sorry, okay, teacher. no problem. Let it a appetizer, red cup, red cocktail, tomato juice, cream cocktail, chicken wings, nachos, and potato skin. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's go on. Now let's listen to Oscar. Okay, Oscar, salads. Some salads. Number eight and number 11, and the main courses. Ready, Oscar? Ready, salad. Okay. Wheat salad or Caesar salad, meatloaf, roast beef, 
beef a prime rib. Bill Collet. Uh huh. Bill Cutlet. Thank you. So meatloaf is this. No sé si logran comprender que es el number 13. Do you have an idea where it says meatloaf? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So then let's continue with Wendy. Wendy the same, the same as Oscar. Wendy, can you please repeat? A petit? No. Uh, uh, no, salads and main courses where you see the crosses. On the Vela ah, okay. Uh, Caesar salad. Uh huh. Greek salad. Mm -hmm. Meat loaf. Mm -hmm. Roast beef. O prime brew. Bill Collet. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Correct. And now let's go with side dishes. All of them. Laura, can you help us, please? Side dishes. What? Eh, disculpe, teacher. Ah, indeed. Side dishes. Okay. Uh, by que porado, mashed pot potato, fr French fry, rice, noodles, mixed vegetables. Okay, thank you, Laura. Baked potato, that is baked the... bake potato. Mashed potatoes. Ma mashed potatoes. Rice. Rice. Uh -huh. Thank okay. you, Laura. Okay. Ellie, one more time, Ellie, please. Yes, letter D. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, Base potato, mashed potatoes, French fries, fries, noodles, 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 mixed vegetables. Yes, just okay. this one, mashed. That mashed. is it. Uh -huh. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank only you, hmm? Only letter D. Mm. Yes. Thank you. And then, then we continue with Blanca. Blanca desserts. Just activate the microphone, Blanca. <laughs> if not, we don't hear you. Sí, yes, yo estaba hablando en galán. <laughs> yes. yes. Chocolate cake, cake, apple pie, ice cream, yellow, 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 pudding, ice cream, Sunday. Thank you, Blanca. Number one, chocolate cake, apple. Uh -huh. Chocolate cake and apple chocolate. pie. And this one, pudding. Pudding. Huh. Pudding. Pudding. Uh huh. Como O. Oh. Sounds like O. Oh. Pudding. Yes. Thank you, Blanca and Maria Concepcion. You're the last one. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell me. I have a question. I have a question to ask. What is in your question? Number, in the number twenty-eight. Uh huh. Yellow is the yellow we know. No, gelatina. Ah. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh -huh. The other one is ice. The one you said, that size. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, Maria Concepcion, we hear you. 
Are you there? Maria Concepcion? No? Okay, Lily. No, ah, ah, okay. Go ahead. Desserts. Solo leerla, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Chocolate cake. Apple, apple pie. Ice cream. Eh, ¿Cómo se, se pronuncia? Yellow. 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 Mm -hmm. Full steam. Ice cream sundae. Ice cream. Ice cream sundae. Ice cream. Thank you, María Concepción. Do you have more questions for me? Because in this moment we have some activities. But if you have questions for me, I can answer them before. Any comments? And, and I will send this to you, okay? Later after the class, I'm going to send the, the pictures to you. I don't know if something happened, but okay. So we will continue. I'm going to just double check something here. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> 